the principle-centered life of people. If there's no principles, then you're just meandering around, and it sounds like you're principle-centered as well. What did that look like for you to be able to transform that? Was that something where you actually sat down and you're like, what is it that matters? What at the core actually matters to me? Or did you find it kind of bubbling up where you're like, oh, I realize that this thing actually matters and kind of setting that aside? Uh, I'd say more, more, more of the first. It was, it was seeing uh, what changes in my life when I don't have all these things that I had set as my sort of value proposition for my personality. Uh, uh, which people react in which ways, what is really important, who are the ones who stick around, who are the ones who leave, what kind of attitude changes happen, etc. When I had time to analyze what's going around me and to, for the first time, feel support without having to justify it in my mind, without having to think to myself, oh, they're just, you know, doing it because I'm freaking awesome and king of everything uh seeing that kind of support uh, made me really think about myself and my own behaviors and all the times i had not been that person all the times i had been you know toxic just 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 i'll be brutally honest just being toxic it was it was a it was a crazy time and uh, coming to those realizations and seeing those situations through Dude, I've written apology letters. I've contacted people that I hadn't talked to in years. I went through a whole... Uh, I went through a whole crusade of trying to make things right and deciding to be a better person from there. 